How to send emails with MailChimp, email marketing on MailChimp. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create our email campaigns with MailChimp. Basically this software provides us the opportunity to integrate an email marketing to our business. So here we are on MailChimp.com. Let's go to our dashboard to start creating our first email campaign. And we'll come to this page after a small registration. They also provide us the opportunity to try this software for free. So let's go to campaigns. But firstly, what do you need to do is just to add the recipients. Who would you like to send your emails to? So we need to go to audience, audience, and then just go to audience dashboard right up here. And then we need to click on add your contacts. So we need to import uh, contacts or that then one by one. So from this page here, as you can see, we have like three options. We can import from another service. We can upload our file or we can copy and paste. So it depends on you. For example, if you want to share your contacts from one service to the another, we can easily use import from another service. So let's try to click on continue. And as you can see, there are a lot of different integrations we can use with Zapier, Salesforce, WooCommerce, Squarespace, Commerce, Shopify, and some other stuff. So uh, if it's suitable as for you, just connect your accounts and then just import the information you can also do it by simply pasting as a file so if we're going back and then go to add your contacts once more we can just simply go to like upload a file and from this page here we just simply need to um, browse file on your computer and then it will be successfully added to the um, MailChimp database. So when everything is done, all we need to do is just to go to campaigns and go to all campaigns. From this page here, we can easily manage all the campaigns in the future. As you can see, I have like two campaigns here. We can just simply edit them. We can view emails or replicate. But in this case, let's try to click on create campaign to start it from scratch. And we'll come to this page here where we need to decide is it necessary for us to create a regular email automation or landing page. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, we are going to create regular email. So use our email builder to launch a campaign in minutes. So it will take not that much time as they said. So let's click on design email. And in a few seconds, we'll come to the next stage where we need to choose an email builder. We can use a new builder, which is like on beta now. And the classic one, classic builder, create a design using our classic interface, templates and styles. So I prefer classic builder, so let's choose this one, but you can also try like their new AI builder. And so we'll come to this page uh, where we can find a lot of different templates. Firstly, we have like layouts folder where we can find different layouts we can easily use. So as you can see, all we can find here is just a structure. So we need to fill all the information uh, for us. Um, as you can see, it's like maybe easier if you want to create them from scratch and all you need uh, is just a structure. But as you can see, we can use only like two of these uh, layouts for free. The another one require like uh, the paid plan. So we need to use at least like uh, one of the paid plans. So like for a marketing essential plan, for example. But uh, let's try to use this one. Also, we can find themes where we can find like templates we can easily use. So there are also a lot of different categories, e-commerce, like events here, uh, holidays and so on. So it depends on you. But to use these templates, you also need to uh, like buy at least one paid plan as for me it's not that cool and if we we'll scroll up we can also find safe templates campaigns and we can also code our own so we can paste in code import from zip or import from url let's go back to layouts to use this one here make an announcement and we'll come to our editor where we need to customize all this stuff we already add have so let's have a quick tour in the left side there is a preview of our uh, like email so as you can see we have like logo area some text uh, some like images here text text button 
and some footer with social media links and some like footer with information. And in the right side, we have like a builder where we can add different blocks, text, box text, divider, image, image group, image card, image text, share, social, follow button and so on. There are a lot of stuff we can easily use. Also, we have like style area where we can change the style for our page. For example, we can change the font size we can change the color if it's necessary we can change style and so on there are a lot of options we can easily change for headings for all these tiles basically we can also go to comments to get feedback on this campaign so basically start by sending a test email to your collaborators when they reply their comments will appear here it's pretty cool if you're going to test your email before sending so if we'll go back to blocks, we can just simply drag and drop it right up here. So for example, if we need to add text and image, we can just simply drag and drop it right up here. So this image was successfully added. We can also interact with objects within existing objects. We can just simply click. And as you can see, all the properties are right up here. So we can click on like creative assistant, for example, to create a logo as for us or do some other stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we have this option. Um, in order to interact with this blog, just simply click. We can upload an image, for example, if we need to use this t-shirt image here, we can just simply paste. Also, we can add a caption if you're going to use right up here. So we can write like best t-shirt t-shirt ever. We can uh, highlight it, make it bold, increase the size. So let it be like maybe 32. Uh, we can change the alignment to the center and as you can see all the display it right up here And in this case we can easily just interact with every single object when everything is done We can just simply click on continue of course we need to like uh, Customize all the things but let's click on exit anyway Set a default builder or maybe later let's be like maybe later and we'll come to the next page of our setup. So on this page here, uh, we need to uh, choose the recipient. So let's click on add recipients and then we'll just si simply need to import if we didn't uh, do it yet. Or in my case, I'm going to exit to show you all the steps. Change the uh, title, basically let be C1, campaign one. When we need to at the from email we need to input the our name so let it be like Ilya and email like uh, we need to paste the email here also paste the subject if it's necessary uh, add a subject for example like thanks for sub and also the preview text welcome welcome here for example let's click on save and after that, everything is basically done. We can uh, now click on send right up here and our campaign will be successfully sent or we can schedule if it's necessary. I'll click on finish later and our campaign will be added to all the campaigns we have. So now we have like three campaign and the C1 is like the campaign we successfully created a little bit earlier. So this is a way of how can we use MailChimp to work with emails to send them. I hope guys this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Goodbye.